class. Today you're going to do some fun mixing and matching. But before I get into that, you're going to need two A4. Fold them in half crosswise. Attach them together with a stapler. Now the next part is optional, which means you don't have to do it if you don't want to. But I like to cover the, the stapler wires so that it doesn't hurt my finger. Now, you're going to start at the last page. This is where you're going to draw first. Imagine it being divided into three rows. The first row, the top one, has a circle in it. That's going to be the head. The second part has a rectangle. That's going to be the body. And the third one is going to have the legs and the feet. Now, do you notice how they're all made up of shapes? This is how artists draw. They first look at the shape of the object that they're drawing. I am tracing only the bottom part for the face. Two letter C's for the ears, two letter O's for the eyes, a small letter L for the nose, and a letter U for the mouth and the hair. Number 11 for the neck, and another letter U for the collar. Next, a sloping line going down for the shoulders. I am now drawing his shirt. That's his sleeves. And next, I'm going to draw the shorts. Now, to draw the arms, just draw two sliding lines and then connect them with the hand. Again, two sliding lines connected with the hand. It's the same thing with the legs. They're just sliding lines or diagonal lines. And then add the feet. Feet looks like an oval. Now you're going to have to repeat the exact same thing. You have to trace the exact same boy. And to do this, well, just trace what you see from the bottom of your paper. I'm just tracing the lines from the other paper. But I'm now going to change what he's wearing. This time, I'm giving him a hat. I'm also going to change his shirt. It's no longer a t-shirt, it's going to be something else. Can you guess what's the best thing to wear during summer? A sleeveless shirt, because it's too hot, isn't it? I'm going to draw shorts again and I'm basically just copying or tracing what is drawn in the previous page. But instead of shoes, I'm drawing flip-flops. Do the exact same process of tracing the image of the boy from the other page, always changing what he's wearing. Can you guess what I'm planning to do this time? <laughs> That's right, he's going to be an elf this time. All right, one last time, the front page. Trace again the image of the boy that you can see from underneath, but change what he's wearing. Can you guess again what this boy is wearing this time? Yes, it's an armor. What is he? 
You are right if you said that he's a knight. Now I'm ready to color. You can use whatever art supply or coloring tool that you want or you have at home. You can use color pencils or paint. Adding some shading in your drawing makes your picture look more interesting. So try it! Using different kinds of green will make your work look more interesting. So try it too! How many different kinds of greens did I use here? Well, I'm done! Now, for the last part. You're going to need a ruler and a pencil, and you're going to need to mark a line across the neck, and right below the pelvis, not that one, yes, that one. Now take your scissors and cut along the lines, but ask your parents for help and supervision, just to be safe. Stop, don't cut all the way through. And stop. Now we're going to mix and match. Let's see. Do you think he'll like it if he wears a crown with an elf clothing? Mm, probably not. <gasps> or how about this summer wear with the armor? Mm, stockings with summer clothes? Nah. How about a t-shirt with stockings and a hat? Well, he kind of looks goofy, doesn't he? This is looking much better. Ah, much more appropriate, I think. How about this? <laughs> well then, let me see your work submitted in the classroom dojo and have lots of fun mixing and matching.